Do you know when something really excites you and it makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside? Like no other feeling in the world. Maybe it makes your heart beat a little faster and gives you those butterfly feelings. It's rare, I know. That's how I feel about these awesome upcoming farm games that I'm about to show you today. This is my top five favorite upcoming farm RPGs that I am personally looking forward to the other most. These five games make me smile and excite me every time I see a new post, some sneak peek footage, an insight to some new content, new trailers, etc. I just get this really warm content feeling and I just can't wait to play these RPGs and share my experience with you guys on the channel. It's going to be incredible. So let's get straight into this, starting from number five and we will climb our way up to my number one spot, which is the game that I am looking forward to playing the most. Although. I'm looking forward to all of these. I guess the order doesn't matter, but I had to do it for the video's sake. So, starting with number five, this was actually the hardest spot to decide for me because the top four is a no-brainer. I've had a top four for a while now. Those are already set in stone for me, but there are so many upcoming farm RPGs that look so good and I wanted to put a lot into the fifth spot. I wasn't sure which one to choose for this video and after quite some time thinking about it, I finally agreed on this game. Sunnyside. You've purchased your first plot of land in an aging post town in the heart of the Japanese countryside. Now it's up to you to create a homestead to be proud of, cultivate the land, nurture your budding crops and care for your animals. Use technology to keep in touch with new friends, access online shopping and store your favourite farm fresh recipes. Spend time getting to know the residents of Sunnyside, all while balancing your newfound farm life. You can modernise your farming experience with new technology that brings the classic farming sim genre to the 21st century. Entry. Building solar panels, electric water pumps, machines for food production and continuously upgrade your tech to improve your farming experience. This is basically a modern farm RPG slash life sim and I don't think we've ever had one set in the true Japanese countryside. This game is the next gen, this is the newest and the latest addition to this genre. It's going to be a new take on farm games, one that I have never experienced before and it's very exciting and unique, one that I am very excited to play in as well. I have played this on the channel, we had a little sneak peek, we played I think it was the alpha, but obviously it was very very early development and we only got to see a small part of the game, so it will be very interesting and exciting to see the full potential of this game and hopefully it delivers. Now we have no time set on this game it just says coming soon on steam so it could be this year or next we have no idea but this one is worth the wait especially if you are looking for a new modern farm rpg something a little different to what we are originally used to now let's move on to my top four and in the number four spot farm folks farm folks is an open world co-op farming and life simulator game Unleash your imagination, build, automate and customise every detail of your farm. Grow crops, nurture animals and befriend locals to cultivate the ultimate sim experience. Now there's a lot to talk about this game actually because farm folks has been on my radar and probably a lot of yours too because this has been in development for quite some time. But sadly the game actually did get abandoned by the original developers. They pulled out of the game, I have no idea why, I'm not going to get into all of that. But the publishers, Crytivo, have stepped up and not only are they publishing the game, they are now creating it and developing it as well. So the game is back, up and running, getting a lot of work put into the game. And to be honest, it's looking better than it ever did. I've been waiting for this game for so long. I remember making a video about this like three, four years ago. You know, it's always been in my, you know, upcoming farm games. And it's just, yeah, it's not been here yet. They've had quite a lot of trouble with the original developers. But like I said, maybe we will start to see good things from this game. Crytivo are doing amazing. They are the publishers for some other crack games that I love. They are a great team, great people, and I know and I believe in them. They are going to make farm folks truly amazing. A lot of people was left disappointed with this because obviously we backed it from Kickstarter and uh, it never went anywhere. So I've got my fingers crossed for this one. I have been following the development and it's looking amazing. Every time I see something new about this game, I just get lost. I can't actually believe how good it's looking and uh, I never expected it to be this good. So farm folks, can't wait to play you. It's been a while but soon we shall meet. Number three, this is where it starts to get exciting. I mean, it's been exciting from the start because all of these five games are truly incredible, but I believe these three are gonna be the ones maybe that I put a bit more time into. And number three is Palia. 
I think that's how you pronounce it, but Palia is a cozy community sim MMO set in a high fantasy world. You can build a life, explore the land and make new friends. You can garden, fish, cook and so much more and level up and gain new abilities and tools to succeed. You can meet a lovable cast of unforgettable characters, forge friendships or find romance. It's up to you. And you can have fun alone, but even better, playing together with friends. No matter how progress you are, you will always be able to play with friends because it is a multiplayer co-op game. It's a cozy world made just for you. Explore in a vibrant new world, uncover hidden truths, make your home uniquely yours, and find purpose. This is a true cozy game where you can immerse yourself in nature. A farm RPG, but set in a fantasy world, so a fantasy farm RPG. The visuals are stunning. This is another next-gen modern game, and if you are into fantasy games, this one is gonna be for you. There is not much about this right now because this is still very early in development. I probably don't think we going to be seeing this this year this may be a 2023 release who knows it could come sooner but make sure you get ready for this because this is going to be a crazy good game and another one i am super excited to play you will love this game too especially if you are into story driven games because palia has a deep evolving story it's just going to be a very very good game to play and i know a lot of you guys are excited for this one Okay, we're here. Let's get to our top two. Have you guys guessed what it is? What's going to be second? What's going to be first? Well, let's start with number two. This is called Roots of Pacha. You guys know I love this game. I've made a few videos of this. I've played with the developers. You know, luckily for me, I, I am quite close friends with the developers. They are amazing, great team, and this game is a bit of me. Be a part of a thriving Stone Age community. Discover ideas, domesticate crops, befriend animals, and contribute to the growth of your village. Play with friends in a co-op or explore the early days of civilization in single player. This is basically a prehistoric farm RPG set in the Stone Ages, a long time ago, before we had the modern things that we do now. A simple thing as a watering can is not a thing in this game. It is beautiful, the artwork is incredible, I love the setting and the feel of the game. I'm quite a big fan of prehistoric things, it's quite interesting to me so to play a farm RPG in that kind of environment is going to be so so fun and the fact that it is co-op as well makes this game even better playing this with friends and building your own community in a stone age world is just so so fun to me you can't just take a trip to the shop and buy a pack of seeds and plant those on the farm water them with a can and then just make loads of money you know this game you have to discover new crops you have to gather them and forage them and learn about these new crops and seeds because back then you know they had no idea what they were or how to grow them and produce these things. It's all about exploring the surrounding wilderness, you know, and finding these animals that you can eventually domesticate. Roos of Pacha is going to be great. I have played this a few times. I have had the alpha and the beta. I've been playing with the developers. You may have watched me on a few streams of theirs. I've had a blast every single time, and this game means a lot to me, you know. It's definitely one of those games that I want to back and play for a long time, just like Stardew Valley, and hopefully you guys enjoy the looks of this game too. Now, we are here. Number one, the farm RPG that I'd say I'm most looking forward to, and that is Coral Island. Whew, this game. Coral Island is a vibrant and laid-back reimagining of farm sim games. Be who you want and experience enchanting island living at your own pace. Live off the land, nurture animals, build relationships with a diverse cast of townsfolk, and make the world around you a more vital and harmonious place. Now this game is literally, it's got everything. This is a bit of me. I love farm games. I love life sims. I love the underwater, the ocean, you know, the aquatic life, the beach the sea you know and this game has got it all it's it's incredible similar to Sunnyside this is going to be the next gen of farm games you know this is a new era it's kind of modern it's a, a new way of playing a farm RPG you know the graphics if you've seen screenshots and gameplay and trailer of this the very modernized kind of like Disney you know it's it's something that we've not really seen before in this style or genre of game and I can see the the love and dedication and the work that's put into this game there's so many characters 
there's so much things to do. Now, luckily for me, I am allowed to say this, I am an alpha tester of this game, so I have been playing and testing this game and, uh, you know, trying out the alpha, but sadly, I can't share any of that with you guys. I can't really talk about it or show any gameplay or screenshots. You know, all I can say is I am testing the game, and uh, the only thing I will say is, wow. Just, just wow. Just watch this space and get ready for this game. That is all I am going to say. That's all I'm allowed to say, sadly. We do not have a date for this game. It's just getting released this year. That is all we know. You can wishlist it on Steam. You know, and another bonus is it's not going to be early access. I believe they are trying to release this as a full version of the game this year. And I know so many of you guys are excited about this as well. You know, I think this is like the most anticipated like farm RPG game out there. And I was very skeptical of this. I thought to myself when I first knew about Coral Island, I was like, wow, this game is going to be great. And I really hope it lives up to, you know, what it's set out to be. That was the only worry for me. I did didn't want it to, to look better than it actually was but being able to, to play you know I've had some testing myself and uh, I can actually see that those worries uh, yeah they're, they're gonna be left behind <laughs> I am definitely hopeful of this game it's very promising and I'm pretty sure this is not going to disappoint any of you guys make sure you get ready for this because this is going to be huge it's gonna blow up and I think this is the next pathway of farm games especially for my channel you know I just feel like this is going to be the one but that's all I can say about that that is my top five farm RPGs that I'm most looking forward to playing. I know there is an order, you know, from five to one, but in theory, I am so excited for all of these games. I love them all with a passion. They all have a special place in my heart, and I just feel like these are going to be the most played games for me, the ones I'm really going to enjoy the most. I just had to put them in an order, a bit of anticipation, a bit of excitement for the video. Let me know in the comments which of these five are your favorite, but also let me know your top five. There is a lot more that I can put into this list but personally for me these five just excite me the most you know like I said there was a lot that I could have put into the fifth spot the list goes on maybe I'll make a separate video for that but yeah these are my favorite I'd love to see your guys' top five as well or if there's any other hidden gems out there that I may not know about please let me know hopefully you enjoyed this video cultivate the like button if you did and subscribe if you haven't already uh, yeah this year and next year is going to be a big year for this genre of games farm RPGs I cannot wait for it make sure you stay tuned on the channel so I can show you all of these games earlier than they actually get released to give you guys an idea and hopefully you can make your mind up on the games that you want to play as well but that is all I've got time for make sure you stay safe take it easy thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next one bye bye farmers